Well, hello, y'all. There's something pretty cool happening in the town of Lori, Minnesota today. But first, we got to kick off this bale that I stole from the neighbor. I mean, acquired. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to borrow it. Not sure how you borrow a bale after you feed it to your cattle, but maybe I'll give them the manure the bale makes. Yeah, that, that would be a fair trade, right? Think so? I don't know if all you have done this, but I've done it a lot in the past. So what you do is you just get somebody to put a bale you purchase on the back of your truck here. And then uh, you back it up to the feed trough. Like so. And try not to blow out your back window. Tie a chain like so. And... Make sure you open up your tailgate. That's the important part. And then you gun it. Ugh. Like so, you have a bale off, and then you can just pitchfork it into your trough. It's probably not the quickest feeding idea for this feedlot, but we're in a hurry. There's something important happening. Fuck, get out of the pen. All right, so we need to head to town. Hey, did I feed you today? What are you doing? Get out of the pen. Buck is reproducing like wildfire. We found a neighborhood uh, blue terrier. And whoo, he's going to town. He's going to town. So Zach already called me and said we are late. And we're going to drive around our barn here. Excuse the old windmill and everything. Yeah, a little bit of off-roading. It's necessary. So this is the back way to the town of Lori, and we get to uh, drive by some of our fields here. Today is a special day to me because not every day you get to honor your service members. I guess the Army National Guard is in the town of Lori. We're doing a little field training here, and uh, because uh, Zach is such a big deal, they asked us if we want a helicopter ride. Uh, yeah. This is uh, something a little bit more Ferrari-like than the Huey, if you remember driving that. It's the real deal. The little bird. Look at this ornament here. We can even, it even has a winch on the b bottom of it. You don't really, uh, you're probably not going to get too much of a lift. This thing is just seats, motor, gunpowder, and explosives. All packed in one. These things are amazing. It's amazing when you see these things with special operators hanging on the side of them and everything. These little birds are amazing piece of work. Not much to them, but man, are they are they maneuverable? Okay, let's let's do a little flyby here. So we got it at the local football field here. I want to do a uh, buzz run right between the goalposts here. Oh, I, I missed it. I missed it. But uh, the Ford dealership slash Dodge dealership will get a buzz right down Main Street. The town of Lori will never know what hit it. It's time to race. Let's see what we can get here. Uh, come on, come on, come on. We're almost pointed nose down here. Here we go, here we go. Probably not the best 60 time, but uh, it's at least fun. Helicopter pilots, do they have coordination? All pilots really have a ton of coordination. Whew. Man, that was fun. All right, enough screwing around. Zach wants us to get back to his place because there's something awesome happening there. Usually, being Zach is such a big deal, when he says something like that, you listen. Well, I don't see anything happening but ditch in the middle of his road there. Today is Sunday afternoon, so... Yeah, we're taking a little bit easy. Yeah, we should be in the field. And here comes the local sheriff. And a 
Bomber, the Army, National Guard is coming down here to do some training around Zach's field. So the Weekend Warriors, they call them that because uh, they have a full-time job and they volunteer their off time to learn a trait that is for the defense of our nation. And I think they're gonna do something bridge training or obstacle crossing. I don't know for sure. Sounds fun. We're gonna escort them here with the local sheriff. Platoon sergeant there said they are down the road here. We're gonna escort the whole convoy. Okay, I guess we are a little bit late, maybe? Uh, local sheriff, it must be nice when you're the one writing the bleeding tickets. I love the U.S. Army's trucks. They look so intimidating. Man, they look like they could drive through a swamp. Oh, I see what they mean. Might do a little bridge training. This is going to be fun. All right. So, beans I begged them, they're going to let me drive their Oshkosh truck here. Look at this thing. Every single wheel is a drive wheel. Ooh, man. Go buy this. This thing feels like it's not even pulling anything. Everyone thinks that all these military vehicles are all full of all this technology and everything. Maybe the radios and the communication systems and all that. But other than that, they're about the most simple, plain trucks you can probably get. Primarily for one reason. The more simple it is, the easier it is to work on, the less chance it's gonna break down. Just mostly gears and wheels here. We're not doing a very organized convoy. I thought all their convoys are nice and tight. Look at that. You talk about some heavy hauling here. That thing is full of metal. Not for sure if that's an Abram or what their bridge tanks are. All I know is they have a jet engine in them. And they sound sweet. Alright, let's not flip it over right on the turn here. It might be a national incident here. That probably would be, uh, get some uh, guard people in some trouble. Definitely don't want their weekend to last any longer than it has to. Look at all this metal in Zach's yard here. Watch out, Ditch. Watch out. So we got everything, uh, ready to offload. We just gotta tie this thing down here. This thing is cool. Look at this. A little troop carrier. I guess this would be for the Ar Army Engineer Battalion here. Drive this over here. So I guess we're gonna mock like this little uh, river crossing he has to his soybean field. It's going to be Right here, it's going to be our simulated cross point. This thing is cool, but I gotta say, I'm looking forward to driving the other, the tank bridge here. Listen to that thing purr. Okay, here we go. Man, I'm so glad Zach invited me for this. This has got to be one of the coolest jobs to have. Okay, we got the. Let me fold this out. Uh, I think I'm learning while you guys do. Oh, need to fold it down a little bit. Oh, too far. Fold that out. There we 
go. Ooh, whoa, whoa. Definitely got some good hydraulics on this thing. Okay. I don't think I think I dropped it too too far, but hey, does it work? Look at that. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time over here in the guard training facility. Of course. Why wouldn't the guard want to play with Bigfoot? Maybe this is the only reason they came to Zach's. Ooh, yeah. Here is some weekend training for you. Yeah. Oops. Oops. Sorry about your beans, Zach. It's all for defense.